Welcome back to the course. So in this lecture, what I want to do is introduce you to the Google Keyword Planner tool. Essentially, this is a free tool that's going to give us almost all of the information we need to make informed decisions about which keywords are best for our business. So really, we just want to go over there and I'm going to get you orientated, show you the different features. Keep in mind that this tool was built for AdWords and paid search. So there's some features there that aren't going to be relevant to us and I'm going to point them out. Great, so step one to using the Google Keyword Planner tool is to get access to it. And in order to do that, you have to set up a Google AdWords account. Again, that's free. And uh, in order to find it, you can just type in the Google Keyword Planner into Google and it'll pop up. Just follow the prompts and uh, set it up. The only thing that I would point out is be careful when you're choosing your currency because you can't change it once it's set. So don't make the mistake like I did. I set up my AdWords account when I was abroad and uh, it set it up kind of automatically in the, in the currency that I was in and I didn't change it. And so I had to set up a new AdWords account if I wanted to see it in a currency that I'm more familiar with. So I just set it up again in USD. I think that's probably the best, um, you know, especially if you're selling to a global audience. It's just a good reference point to have. But perhaps if you're a local business, you can just have it um, in the currency of your particular country. So once you sign into AdWords, you're going to see this screen and then you can just go to Tools and Keyword Planner. And what you're going to be presented with here is four different options. Three of them are really relevant to us. Um, the one that isn't relevant is Get Traffic Forecasts for a list of keywords. That's a feature that's specific to AdWords and uh, people who want to advertise with AdWords. So let's have a look at the first one. And really, we just want to get orientated here um, and just get a bit of an overview of what everything is. So here is where you can really enter in specific keywords. And what I recommend doing is maybe putting in one to three. Try and be specific. If you put in something very broad like cars, all you're going to see is really competitive uh, keywords for that so you want to try and make it a uh, specific and essentially what you think people will be typing into Google so another way to generate ideas is to put in your home page uh, or a specific web page or a blog article that you have and um, that will really throw up ideas for you you know a great way to use this section is to put in a high-ranking competitor and see what keywords people are typing in to really land on that page. Another thing you can do is um, use this product category section. So this will pull keywords from Google's uh, database. Um, and you can narrow it down quite a lot. Just to say consumer electronics, say GPS navigation, GPS, GPS devices. So that's just an example, but it shows you how deep you can kind of go into it if you want. Great, so once you have filled in one or all three of these sections, what you can do then is move on to targeting. And you can target it by location and language. Um, and if you want to, uh, just on Google or Google and the search partners. So that's its display network, including YouTube. So I mean, locations, you can get quite deep into it as well. You can um, do specific countries or specific regions and then language say if you wanted to target um, say Brazil then you can just put in Brazil there and, and Portuguese so there's also options to customize your search so you can uh, if you want to do average monthly searches they say above a thousand searches you can put it in there or say below 10,000 you can put it in there as well suggested bid is again this is something that gives an indication of um, how well these keywords convert. So you might want to put it a suggested bid above, say, one or two dollars. Um, and then competition, high, medium, low. Let's go into that a little, a little bit more detail and then you can come back and change those settings if you want. Keyword options as well. I'd be inclined to just leave these all off, but you can maybe narrow it down if you're finding that you're 
search is uh, just two two million related keywords. Great. So we've just finished then the orientation of the first uh, option within the keyword planner tool. Let's just quickly review the two other options, and uh, we'll be able to get to, through these a lot quicker. This is uh, the option to get search volume for a list of keywords. So this is really a list of keywords that you already have, and then you want to determine the actual search volumes for them. So all you need to do is choose the file, upload it there. And again, you've got some of the options there for targeting. Great. So let's look at the final option, which is multiple keyword lists. And uh, this is probably the one I use uh, less frequently, but it can be great for e-commerce because it really allows you to mash up a lot of different words and get a lot of different combinations. So what I've done in this example here is just really put in a couple of different colors, a couple of different brands, and a couple of different products that they make. And really what we want to see is what combination of those has the highest search volume. So uh, let's have a look. So red Nike sneakers has the uh, highest monthly searches uh, in all locations, which is 390. Red Nike shorts as well, 390. And as we move down, we can see the least popular for average monthly searches is, uh, is well, it goes down to gray Puma hoodies, which gets less than 10 searches a month. That's what that means if that's uh, blank like that. So great, that really wraps up our introduction and orientation to the Keyword Planner tool.